Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you are following us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Give us a five-star rating. It massively helps us out. Enjoy. <laughs> In terms of ownership, how are like, all of your experiences with Robin and Ryan? You spoke about it originally. Mm. you got a little group chat going on, yeah? You know, what's yeah. that? Is yeah, it, no, they're both great. They're is both there a midfielder's group chat? No, I'm yet to make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, he does, like, right, Ryan mainly will text after games like and speech here and that but um, yeah so it's, they're, they're class to each other. they're brilliant the first time that they phoned or Rob phoned me I was driving home obviously I live in Preston so I was saying I'm commuting home yeah, yeah. and a foreign number came up on the car and I didn't want to answer it but you know you're thinking ah, it could be I've only just signed yeah, you don't be. know who it could be so I've answered the call and it, I was like this is defo banter so Ryan's phone saying hi Mark welcome to Wrexham like buzzing to join the club and I went nah I'm not having it not having it, it was, you put him down yeah straight away <laughs> <laughs> right, so then he then like he, he then went he then went it's definitely me, Mark. I just wanted to like say thanks for joining the club and that really excited to have you here. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not having it. I said you need to be able to prove it somehow. And I'm, like, I'm just, it's just it's his voice. <laughs> mate, he must have went. Who was it, Rob or Ryan? Ryan? This is Ryan. And I was like, <laughs> but you know when you're like, it's someone who's like him. stitching me up here. Mate, mate, what, I've an American a lot of in football for who, what, who of in years. America is going to think I'm going to stitch up Mark Howard now? <laughs> yeah. Can we go put an accent on? And he went, oh, wait a minute. And he went on social media, followed me. And I was like, oh, hi, Ryan. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and we're all fangirl there. That is so awkward. Oh, yeah, like, it, all, it, it sounds fucking friendless. awkward now. <laughs> he, obviously, he obviously is a big time actor. So he has big time actor friends. How was uh, Will Ferrell? That was the best day ever on it. He was so <laughs> He is a legend. He is I so funny, mate. So, <laughs> so funny. Oh, no. Well, he showed in the 3 one celebration. I'm sat in the physio bed and got a whisper that he's coming. And I was like, my, I was like grinning. We're just both massive fans. Yeah. And then, so he's come in like, and i like just saying low shook his hand. And then he comes over and goes, oh, Will, do you, know, um, do you not recognise him from the set of Elf? Like... Uh, <laughs> When Miles Finch, the little angry elf, for like, so then Will Ferrell goes, "Oh yeah, I do recognise you." <laughs> and honestly, I got called like, I got called an angry elf by angry a funny elf. elf, and it's probably the best day ever. Oh, that is like, class. Yeah. That's really cool. Before the game, we're just high fiving. Yeah. We're just, I've got a laugh out of Will Ferrell, and he took the piss out of him. Yeah, we're great. Buzzing. Honestly, the best. Thing yeah. Ever. But you've been at quite a few clubs, including West Ham. What's the ownership like here in compared to the previous places you've been at? Obviously, for each of you. Um, it's, it's like a unique ownership here, I'd say. Um, especially because I was at Charlton last year and that's a circus there with the owners. Really? Oh, circus. <laughs> so then, like, coming here was just like like an unbelievable breath of fresh air and, and like even more like to know have you got like the owners that care, they actually care so much. Yeah. I know some people from the outside think, oh, it's two American guys. <coughs> like, they're just having a bit of fun. It's all they're for show. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. fun. What's that midfield a group chat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ryan Rob Creek. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, like you could, they, they actually love it. Like they don't, they don't have to, like Ryan doesn't have to go out his way to text us after games and Rob, Rob come to a load of games. I think he comes to Eastleigh away. And... What are the chances that at the weekend they'll be there? We don't the ever know until the day of the game. Yeah, it? we're not. We're, listen, come on. Not, you need to text him right not, now. He's not my best mate. He's not my brother. He's not. He doesn't tell me his weekly schedule. But they'll, you know, they'll come when they feel ready. And they've obviously got a really busy schedule. So when they come, they come, and it's great when they do. You know, they. That's what she said. Yeah, they're making. A, <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice, perfect. Play, play the sound effect. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. That's so, a real sound effect. Yeah, no, they obviously make a huge effort with everyone. Um, and it's, it is great when they come to the club and you know, they, they catch up with everyone there. And, and you know, it's good for the fans. And well, it's good that they're, but they're obviously like looking after the morale and stuff, but they're actually investing heavily into the club. You just got a new gym facility, didn't you? Yeah, we've got a new gym facility, which is unbelievable. Yeah. It's a state-of-the-art gym in the stadium. Um, and they're, you know, they're doing everything the right way. They're, they're investing in the club, they're, they're helping grow it. Obviously, so much good comes from them, but is there, you know, when the cameras are like around and stuff, do you, do you cause I know I've seen the Arsenal players talk about that after the first couple of weeks, they get used to it. So through the prime stuff is, are you used to it? Does, is there like an added pressure? Do you like notice it in the corner of your eye or is it just, you get on with it? Mm. Uh, you, do, you, you just get used to it, don't you? Like, yeah. It is, it, like, it is, it's, it's weird. Like, you, you, could it, yeah, you could be in the physio room and then you're talking about something yeah. that goes on in physio rooms and yeah. then all of a sudden the cameras are there, there's a yeah. microphone over you, yeah. bang. 
And then you're like, yeah, you sort of adjust the conversation. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, um, not yeah. too much. Like, if you're asking if you notice two men with a huge camera, yeah. obviously. And then a big microphone. <laughs> and a massive <laughs> microphone. Just like the big fluffy microphone. Yeah, yeah but you just like. kind of get used to it. And, you know, they, they actually, they're really professional and they're, lov they're lovely guys. So they try and stay out of our way. Yeah. Um, it's hard though, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard. Even in the physio room, it's quite narrow. So having three extra people in there yeah. while you're getting treatment or there's like lads in there and you're shuffling past the camera crew. It is what it is. You just, just get on with it. Yeah. I turned into the camera the other day in front of Will Farrell. We were in the hallway and I was saying bye to him. I turned around and the camera's right there and I just smashed my forehead. <laughs> that's when it's quiet in your face. Yeah, so that's that you've won the season. Yeah, we. <laughs> so, they're, yeah, they're, you know, they're always there, but you do get used to it. Might adjust a few conversations to make yeah. it a bit more appropriate, but more PG friendly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if um, hypothetically speaking, you were, let's say, like two or a pair of multi-million pound actors that own a football club, is there any player in world football that you'd like to play alongside you at Wrexham? Oh, what if? Ben. What if we could buy someone ourselves <laughs> yeah. and bring them to play with yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's playing now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just messy. You think Messi in National I would, League? I would, if I can pick a player and bring him over to Wrexham. Do you reckon he'd transcend well into well, you, if you just How's he going to cope with like a bobbling pitch? Is money no option? <laughs> Money's no, no option. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Get, get, him, get him in. You're basically asking who would you most like to play with? Obviously. Yeah, but that, that would be who, 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 would, who could slot in? Like, could, realistically, Lionel Messi's not slotting in at Wrexham. Well, obviously, but you, what's the... But could, the no, I think, like, would he get on with okay, boys? So, How could he deal with... Right, see, I think, I think you, you go say, I'm not playing, but, like, Stevie G, he will, on a bobbly pitch in Wales, he could do a job. Well, let's, I don't let's, think let's, draw a job. let's draw a medium line for it. A person that would fit in well and also but uh, money no object so you don't think Messi would so we're dragging, the National we're League we're dragging professional no footballers <laughs> he, does, he doesn't but that's not my decision you don't think Messi would tap the National League not particularly oh my god, god. But I'll, I'm not even joking I think he'd oh get, get bullied no no he wouldn't <laughs> no, no. Right, <laughs> name me a big you, set you of half how people cannot get close to this guy yeah I know but <laughs> it doesn't don't. matter they're but just going to foul him if there's a mole hill on the <laughs> no, they're going to foul this is a guy that's used to pristine flat football pitches this is I a guy that's the best ability in the world because the pitches aren't as good no of they're course but we're talking about Messi and the balls aren't and you can dribble on this pitch so if you can Messi can who's a centre half in the National League that isn't playing for Wrexham. Um, Cordner. Tyler Cordner. We just played against it. Tyler Cordner. Tyler Cordner. He's smashing Messi. <laughs> what? what? He, no. <laughs> Not in a weird way. He's going That's through not Messi. what happens in a natural way. Are you not allowed to pick Messi? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the school rules, isn't it? My ball. You're not allowed to pick it. <laughs> so I think Thiago Silva slots in well. I'd say Van Dijk. He'd Rolls Royce this, mm. really, wouldn't he? He could play in every position. But that's what I mean. Like You've picked a yeah, person that picking? would be supporting you and a defender in front of Mark. It's a completely different question, isn't it? Yeah. But it's still messy. You're basically asking what player... If you as a complete goal, package obviously. could go through the leagues <laughs> yeah who could go through the leagues Courtois with a unaffected with an, yeah. yeah so you're probably looking at like a robust hard working midfielder almost like a Kante or someone like that Rodri party Rodri someone like that that would take you through <laughs> the leagues by injured no he's back well but I mean he's We've just got come back Jimmy from injuries yeah he's got a great gym yeah, yeah. Thomas Party to Wrexham <laughs> James Paul Prowse <laughs> Proudly get him on the offering oh, kicks. No. He is pretty robust, to be fair. Like, yeah, yeah. Plays, he, yeah, he wouldn't have a problem because I feel like he's got the right mentality as well. Can and say. he won't get down when you see bubbles on the pitch. Jamie Vardy, he's been there, done that. Yeah, mm. another non-leaguer. Who else has made a problem yeah, from the non-leagueer? Yeah, that's a great point. Mm. Jamie Vardy. Must be Chris Smalling. Yeah. Someone who's, yeah. yeah he was, <laughs> All defenders yeah. going from... Well, he's not <laughs> for another one. Yeah. Chris Smalling came from Maidstone, didn't he? Did he actually? Maiden head. Maiden, Maiden head. Oh, it could have been Maidstone. One of, one of the maids. Yeah, one of them. So obviously, we've done the dream, you know, attributes of a footballer. Let's do a goalkeeper. Mm. We've got <laughs> mentality, <laughs> reflexes, shot stoppings, and 1v1s. 1v1s, Alison, all day. Yeah, I completely agree. Better. Yeah. Could you guys beat Alison in 1v1? Shot stopping, I'd go Ramsdale. <laughs> I'd say mentality, I'd go Ramsdale. Because you're not so going to <laughs> yeah, You have to pick one. Mentality or shot stopping Ramsdale, yeah. Well, you got to pick one. To give shot stopping Charles and the mentality to Ram. 
Yeah. But what about 1v1s? 1v1s. 1v1s, Alisson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, scoring. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. But yeah, would you guys score against Alisson though? <laughs> How many shots? 1v1. One one. You get five 1v1s. Yeah, I'd like to think I could score in a 1v1 against him. Not all of them. Can't say that, mate. <laughs> I'm like, I'm right into it now, mate. I'm like, I'm right into it now. Mate. <laughs> uh, so, Alison, one v ones. Mentality? Ramsdale. Yeah, Ramsdale. Reflexes. Oh, he's got David de. Yeah. yeah. David de reflex. Good. Edison distribution. <laughs> yeah, I think you would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Who'd you say? He's about to say it. Distribution, so. Edison. Yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah. 